NMU's inaugural snow fest will be kicking off the new semester. This morning, Samantha Rivera is at NMU and Marquette. Tell us a little bit more about it. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Vicki. We're live from inside Jam Ridge Hall where Snowfest is going to take place later on this morning. From 11 to 2 p.m., they'll have live entertainment, free refreshments, student organizations on site, and they'll even have free demos on uh, fat tire biking, snowshoeing, and cross-country skiing. And then from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m., they'll have a free showing of Warren Miller's Line of Descent, as well as lots of free giveaways from local businesses. And this is an, an event for just students, uh, and I'm using encouraging the entire community to come out and have some fun and later on in the show today we'll talk to some of the events organizers including the director of the Nkwamanan Trail Network to tell us more about everything that they have planned for later later today so make sure to stay tuned live in Marquette Samantha Rivera TV6 News thank you very much Samantha they certainly couldn't have ordered better weather let's head to weather center six for more Today, Northern Michigan University is hosting a whole new thing. It's called the Snow Fest. A lot of fun that's planned for not just students, but everybody in the community. Samantha is at NMU this morning telling us more about it. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Vicki. Again, we're live from inside Jam Ridge Hall, where it seems a little empty right now, but come later on this morning at 11, the entire floor will be filled with student organizations, 35 to be exact. And again, they'll have live entertainment, free refreshments, and a lot more. And here to tell us more about it is NMU's VP of Marketing and Communications, Derek Hall. Good morning, Derek. Good morning. Welcome to campus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I know this is the first year you guys are doing Snowfest. What made you want to start it up? Well, Northern Michigan University and its students, we celebrate win winter. You know, winter is a big part of who we are. And so we thought, why not celebrate it, create Snowfest, and uh, go out and play in the snow during the day right here in the Academic Mall. Definitely. And give us a little bit of an overview of how the day is going to go. Well, uh, from 11 to 2, we're going to be doing a demo day in partnership with the No Cayman on Trail Network. So we'll have fat bikes, uh, skis, and snowshoes. People can check out and uh, enjoy the snow. And then we'll also have the clubs going throughout, the, throughout those hours. And it's basically just to welcome students back to campus because classes just started on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And we're, uh, you know, a new, new semester and we're ready to go. And it's kind of a celebration, a welcome back. And tell me a little bit about the live entertainment that you have lined up. Well, we have uh, double trouble DJs, and you never know what they're going to do, but uh, <laughs> it, it will be fun. Yeah. We'll have food, we'll, we have a great weather day. Uh, it's going to be mild temperatures. We, we have the equipment. Uh, we want the kids to come out of class and just come on out and, and step into the snow and grab a piece of equipment and, and have some fun. Definitely. And so you have free demos, free movie showing. Um, what do people have to pay, if anything? Well, for? for students, it's free. And this okay. is basically what it is. It's a demo day for students. Mm -hmm. Tonight at 730 here in Jamrich, uh, we have a Warren Miller ski movie. If you've ever seen one of those, they're epic. I mean, it's just amazing what they show. And that's open to the public. So we welcome everyone to come down and really enjoy that. And why should the community come out to something like this? Well, it's, uh, it's a fun day. Hanging out with students is always fun. And uh, we're celebrating winter. So Snowfest's a place to be. Yeah, sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Definitely. Derek. And when we return, I'm actually going to try out some uh, fat tire biking again for the second time. We'll see if I can redeem myself from the last time I tried it. Live in Marquette, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. I don't know, Samantha. Yeah. I think you did pretty well I'd last say so, time. Especially so it was your yeah. first time then. Yeah. So. I did OK. I wasn't <laughs> all that great. Okay. <laughs> well, OK, you, it wasn't up to your standards. It's OK. We get it. <laughs> right. Thank you much. Exactly. Of course, anybody <laughs> heading outdoors, Happening today, from live entertainment to free winter sport demos, NMU's inaugural Snowfest invites not just students, but the entire community to join the fun. Samantha joins us again live in Marquette with more details on what's happening today. Good morning again, Samantha. Good morning, Andrew. Uh, like you said, we are live outside of NMU's Jamrich Hall, where according to these guys, this is the only university in the entire world that has a fat tire biking trail, one of the many unique things here in the UP. But of course, fat tire biking isn't the only thing going on during today's snow fest. Here to tell us more about it is the director of the Naquamanon Trail Network, Lori Hosworth. Good morning, Lori. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. So we've obviously got fat tire biking. What else is going on today from 11 to 2? So from 11 to 2, uh, NMU is hosting what's called their new snow fest and it's the inaugural event and what it is, it's an opportunity for the students to interact with activities outdoors and 
Um, how we're involved is we have a new partnership with NMU that's going to allow the students free access to the No Cayman on Trails network and also access to equipment. So they're going to be able to check out fat tire bikes, snowshoes, and cross-country skis. And we have them all on campus today and they'll be able to, from 11 to 2, check out and ride their fat bikes around the track or tra check out classic ski equipment or check out snowshoes and have some fun in the snow. Yeah, that's awesome. Why did you think it was important to, to have this partnership? Um, for us, it's uh, showing a lot of community support. You know, students come here part partly because of the great outdoors, and the more they interact with the outdoors, the more people we have out using our trails, and when people come to town, for the students, the families, um, they're going to better know how to interact with the great surroundings that we have here in the UP. Okay, and tell us a little bit about the trail over here. How long did it take to kind of create it? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> so we've got our, our one of our groomers here, Mike Brunette, today, and he has spent a couple days laying a track down here through campus. Yeah. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but uh, he has spent a uh, number of hours out here to make sure we've got a nice track for the kids to uh, have some fun on today. Yeah, it looks beautiful. And um, I know everything is free. Uh, are there any waivers that every, anyone has to sign or anything like that? Yes, when they come and get equipment, they'll uh, they'll sign a waiver okay. that'll allow them to check out the equipment and head out, head out on this fun little trail that we have through campus All for right. the event. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning, Lori. Yep, you're welcome. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Um, so again, from 11 to 2, they're going to have lots of uh, activities out here outside of Jam Ridge Hall. And then from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m., they'll have a uh, a showing of um, Warren Miller's line of descent and a lot of free giveaways from local businesses. Um, and like I said in the last half hour, I'm gonna try this whole fire or er, <laughs> fat tire biking thing again. I know uh, last time you guys were nice and you said I did okay, but I mean, I'm a perfectionist and oh, I'm not even gonna be able to put this on, right? All right, it's on. <laughs> so I'm gonna start and end perfectly this time and I'm gonna throw it back to you guys in the studio. Live Marquette, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Whew. All right, there we go. <laughs> We're watching you closely, <laughs> looking pretty good. Way to go, Samantha, keep at it, keep trying. <laughs>